Welcome on No Science Channel. This is our first topic, so, today, we would discover the meaning of the word science. We will go smoothly to simplify and learn about science. Definition and usage, the various branches and a quick history review. Let's get started. Science, from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge, the names of many branches of science end with, ology which means study of, in Greek, science, is the study of the physical and natural world through observations and experiments, and has provided a vast amount of knowledge about a broad range of phenomena. Let's see what is, knowledge, before we continue. Knowledge is a set of awareness or understanding of reality or nature, along with facts, information, descriptions or skills. It could be acquired through experience or education via perception, discovery, or learning. Knowledge could be either explicit and theoretical, as you acquiring this topic on our YouTube channel, or implicit and more practical, as using a tool. Knowledge acquisition involves complex cognitive processes, perception, communication, and reasoning. One important way to produce knowledge is science. Okay, let's come back to our main topic. Science is a modality of thinking and a systematic way to build and organize knowledge through testable explanations and predictions. From the nature of elementary particles to the structure of the universe, science has enhanced our understanding of these phenomena. Right now, the fact that you exist and are in the process of watching this video is science. The natural, free light and energy from the sun also science. The food we enjoy, water we drink, and clothes we wear are all based in science. You can't get around it. Science is everywhere and is one of the most important object of study in our world. Modern science. Science has evolved with the human history, so, modern science has come a long way in the last 200 years. As our scientific knowledge has advanced and the questions we seek to answer have become more complex, science has become more specialized. However, we now have more powerful data analysis techniques, more sophisticated equipment for making observations and running experiments, and a much greater breadth and depth of scientific knowledge. Science has benefited from the expanding diversity of perspectives offered by its participants. Modern science is not only a way to produce knowledge it is also. Science is business. Science is now included within a large system for monetizing intellectual property, from publishing platforms to the increasing desire and expectation to make commercial success of academic research. The internet, biotechnology, space exploration and many other fields or industries and services are research-centric, so science is their key goal and target since it contributes to innovation and competition. Science to business marketing aims at the use of marketing principles for the area of science, supporting the successful commercialization of research competencies, capacities and results from a research institution to its research customers. Society benefits from the cooperation between research and industry in various ways, such as promote economic growth, strengthen the regional economy, and improvement of living standards which requires improved technology. Science is political. Science is fundamentally social in nature. This is one of the reasons why science is inherently political, if by political we mean decisions and actions that have to do with a group of people. Science is linked to the nation-state, as all countries, in the name of development or because of their defense interests, have very close ties with the scientific community in that country. However, the politicians or the policymakers are the ones to determine the use of scientific concepts or technologies, even if in our modern civilization, it is hard to distinguish between the role of politicians and scientists. As we have experienced with the COVID-19 pandemic, although the containment solution has been scientifically supported, the consequences on human societies have resulted in more pain and loss than the effect of the coronavirus itself. Today, we reach a level in research science has a great impact on our lives, on other species and the environment, such as improving or threatening ethics, safety and peace. As society and the scientific community have become increasingly concerned about these ramifications, scientific and governmental organizations have set up guidelines to minimize potentially negative impacts and ensure that research is carried out ethically, with respect of the health care and environmental protection. The scientific method is what build the core of the scientific process to produce reliable and reproducible scientific knowledge. It consists of asking a question about something to be explained or comprehended, proposing for this phenomenon or observation, a possible solution, called hypothesis, testing this hypothesis through a series of experiments, examining the results of these experiments to see if the hypothesis have been supported or refuted, propose a new question or a new hypothesis, share these outcomes or scientific concepts in a many possible formats, 
an article that would be reviewed and published, presentation at a scientific conference, a poster or a brief, and journalists can also quickly access the latest scientific findings and begin to publicize them to the broader population. Consumers of this information must remember that, in science, the first report of a finding is never the last word. Actually, the research in science is commonly conducted in academic and research institutions, as well as in government agencies, companies, non-profit organizations, and by independent researchers. Scientists are individuals who conduct scientific research to advance knowledge in an area of interest. Scientists exhibit a strong curiosity about reality, with some scientists having a desire to apply scientific knowledge for the benefit of health, nations, environment, or industries. Other motivations include recognition by their peers and prestige, such as receiving the Nobel Prize, a widely regarded prestigious award. Scientists try to uncover the real workings of the natural world, and that requires honesty. You can't get to the truth by exaggerating results, fudging numbers, selectively reporting data, or interpreting evidence in a biased way. So, scientists expect other scientists to act with honesty and integrity and treat any violation of this expectation quite seriously. Scientists and their community members have a great responsibility to spread the culture of science based on honesty, integrity, and objectivity as a policy to be adopted. Science is typically divided into three major branches that consist of the natural sciences, as biology, chemistry, and physics, which study nature in the broadest sense, the social sciences, as economics, psychology, and sociology, which study individuals and societies, and the formal sciences, as logic, mathematics, and theoretical computer science, which study abstract concepts. Disciplines that use existing scientific knowledge for practical purposes, such as engineering and medicine, are described as applied sciences. People have uncovered truths about the universe throughout the ages. So, science in a broad sense existed before the modern era and in many historical civilizations. The early origins of science can be traced back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia in around 3500 to 3000 years ago. Their contributions to mathematics, astronomy, and medicine have reached and influenced the Greek natural philosophy of classical antiquity, through which repeated attempts have been made to explain phenomena in the physical world on the basis of natural causes. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, knowledge of Greek conceptions of the world in the Middle Age, 400 to 1000 of our common era, but was preserved in the Muslim world during the Islamic Golden Age. Western Europe has transferred and assimilated these Greek works and Islamic inquiries from the 10th to 13th century and revived natural philosophy, which was later transformed by the scientific revolution that began in the 16th century as new ideas and discoveries. The scientific method soon played a more important role in knowledge production, and since 19th century, many of the institutional and professional features of science began to take shape, along with the shift from natural philosophy to natural science and, rapidly, our world is now full of technologies that once belonged to science fiction. Even the DNA and its applications has opened unthinkable possibilities for apprehending our past, apply targeted treatments and more. However, as scientists may not like to concede it, today, we are still remarkably ignorant, since we do not think that we have reached the absolute truth. So this was an overview about science, and I hope that was helpful. Please, to subscribe now. To your channel No Science. And above all, help us to deliver more topics that interest you. Leave us your recommendations or wishes in comment. Thanks for watching.